your coat here, aren't you? The mane.
Okay, so um, we finished a couple things, or we finished working on a few things recently. Um, that's final touches to provide um, some extra uh, heat efficiency for the lodge that we've built this uh, over the summer. So one thing that we did was we put what's called Artec. It's two inch foam boards under the floor of the building. And uh, that's going to prevent um, heat loss from the inside the building going down. And it's also going to prevent cold air being sucked in from under the building going up into the structure. So it's a it's going to increase our heat efficiency. The other thing that we've done is we've started working on the um, the R19 fiberglass insulation or rock wool insulation for the ceilings. And so when the heat is uh, generated from the drip stove and the wood stove and heat rises up, it's going to press up against the ceiling and it's going to leak out of the ceiling eventually. It's going to leak through that medium. So the thicker the medium, the thicker the airspace that you have, the slower that process of heat transfer out is going to happen. So um, fiberglass insulation, it's a six inch insulation, six inches of fiberglass, which is basically six inches of air space. So um, that is going to increase efficiency in, a, in an interesting way, like, so it, for example, if we have 50% of the ceiling insulated, then we will have 50% efficiency. If we increase that 50% efficiency, or if we increase that 50% of insulation to 75% of the total ceiling to be insulated with that R19 fiberglass, then we increase our uh, heat loss um, efficiency from 50% to 75%. So we have a 25% increase. So that's how that works. So we're just slowly but surely as paycheck uh, dictates and as time dictates, um, adding insulation um, to the building. It's not really necessarily about comfort at this point because the house is comfortable. The house is warm and cozy. All we gotta do is crank up the drip stove turn on the wood stove and it gets hot in here real quick. We can turn on the propane oven, bake a cake, and it, it, it's, it gets hot. But the, the key there is how long does that heat stay in here? It's about efficiency. So that has to do now more with um, cost cutting. So if we make a fire and boost this place up to 17 degrees Celsius, or 70 degrees Celsius or, or um, Fahrenheit. And now, okay, hey, we got a nice cozy place. It's 18 degrees Celsius. Outside it's minus five. And then we turn off the heat and go to bed and the, the temperature starts going down. How long is that gonna take for that process to happen? So um, we wanna increase the length of time. So that's all we're trying to increase efficiency at this point. So that's what we're doing.